you you believe in the concept of the collective unconscious? I do. Okay, can, can you explain, may, maybe go, go into more detail of like what, what, what you think that is? Um, I can talk to you about the way Rupert Sheldrick describes it, which is uh, the field of morphic resonance, which is, um, do you know the story of the, hundred, the hundredth monkey island off of uh, Australia that was divided in the middle? And both sides of the island had monkeys and both sides of the island had coconuts. And there were times of the year where the monkeys would starve. They didn't know that they could eat coconuts. At one point, one of the sides, one of the monkeys, uh, a coconut fell and it broke open and the monkey ate it and realized they could eat it. And he taught the other monkeys on that side or the other monkey saw him do it. And then they started eating it. And then something really interesting happened when a hundred monkeys were able to eat the coconut on the one side of the island, all of a sudden on the other side, the monkey started eating coconuts. There was no connection between them. No one told them. No one saw it happen. It happened. So it's, it, it bubbled up enough in the consciousness to where this is something you can do. We saw it happen with the four minute mile. The four minute mile could, ne no one could ever break the four minute mile until someone broke it. Very soon after someone breaking the four minute mile, many people could break this, the four minute mile because now it's, we understand that it's possible to do. You know, the, the Wright brothers could have been put in a, a, an asylum for believing they could fly. Man can fly until man fly. And now we fly all over the world. And it, it, it continues to happen. It's impossible. Everything is impossible until we do. And then it becomes possible. And then our world grows.